All right, pay attention. Here it comes. The Fast and the Furious. No way. That's so cool. Hello. I am here. We are going to teach you how to mark hunt these legendary birds. That is the plan for this YouTube video. I'm going to teach you two things. I'm going to teach you about marks. And I'm going to teach you how to get marks on these birds. You cannot shiny hunt these birds, unfortunately, but you can still make them rare and you can still make them unique by mark hunting. So uh, I've already caught them, obviously. In this video, I will show you how to catch them. But real quick, if we want a quick tutorial on marks, I got you covered. If we go over to the ribbon tab, it's the last tab here, we can see that we have Moltres the Pompous, which is the, this is the thorny mark. We have Zapdos the Furious. At this point, uh, this I named the Zapdos the Fast, so when it shows up, it shows up as the Fast and Furious. I think later in the video, you'll see that we put the and in between, so it says the Fast and the Furious. But uh, for now, it's named the Fast. Uh, so this is the Angry Mark. Finally, we have Articuno the Stern with the Scowling Mark. Now, these three marks are personality marks, which are not the rarest marks, but pretty rare altogether. Now, marks do show up in the Ribbon tab, like ribbons do. So just in comparison, this is my um, Yamper here that I caught. And it has three ribbons. It has the Galar Champion Ribbon, the Master Rank Ribbon, and the Best Friends Ribbon. Yes, I have taken this Yamper into Master Rank to get a ribbon on it in the ranked battles of Sword and Shield. Uh, but when we select a mark, if we look into the lower right-hand corner, you can see that the, there's that Master Class Ribbon, or Master Ranked Ribbon, I should say, on my Yamper. And then we have a Curry mark on the Shenotic, which you can get from Curry. And then we, uh, this is my Salamance from Sun and Moon that I transferred over here that has the Battle Tree. Uh, there's a giant tree in Sun and Moon. And then this is my Bufalant with the Galar champion mark, just, you know, beating Leon. This is a uh, my Chandelure with a best friend ribbon mark that is, you know, just getting to max happiness with your Pokemon. And then finally, this is my Mawile from Sun and Moon with the Alola champion mark, uh, beating whoever was the champion in Sun and Moon. I guess it changes when you keep doing it because you're the champion because there was no champion. Anyways, uh, and then we can see here in the, again, in the bottom right-hand corner, we have Moltres the Pompous, we have Zapdos the Furious, and we have Articuno the Stern. So marks are something you can hunt for to make them unique, and they are not something you can earn. So I'm going to overlay a mark hunting guide here that you can see. Uh, and these are all the marks that are available in the game currently. There's one mark that is missing called, I think, the Destiny mark. That's not in the game currently. I'm sure that's being saved for an event. But I made this graphic uh, back over the summer when I was mark hunting before. Because marks have been in the game. Marks are new to Sword and Shield. Ribbons are not. You can get ribbons as, as old as Ruby and Sapphire, Gale of Darkness, Colosseum. Pretty much every single Pokemon game has had ribbons, except for Black and White, Black and White 2, and Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee. For whatever reason, they decided to skip the ribbons there. But on the Mark Hunting Guide here, you can see there's different types of marks, and there's different rarity of those marks. So the rarest mark is called the Rare Mark, or uh, when you assign it to a Pokemon, if you have it, it's called, it'll say, like, let's say we got it on our Maltrace, it will say Maltrace the Recluse. It is a one in a thousand chance of getting on a Pokemon. So almost as rare as a shiny Pokemon with the shiny charm, because in the wild, it's one in 1365. So the rare mark can make your Pokemon feel very unique and very rare instead of just catching a Pokemon without a mark. And then we have other things like the time mark. Those are marks that are going to appear specifically in the morning, the evening, the nighttime and lunchtime the little spoon and fork or around lunchtime. Weather marks, I think that's pretty self-explanatory. Whether you catch a Pokemon in a sandstorm, a thunderstorm, um, snow, hot sun, uh, misty, rain. Uh, I know a lot of people were specifically trying to get their Zapdos. to have the Thunderstruck mark. That's where you catch your Zapdos when it's thunderstorming. There's a 1 in 50 chance for that. But what I was going for was the personality mark. So you can see there's a bunch of personality marks. And you can see the three that I've uh, gotten here. The Furious, Pompous, uh, Stern all appear under the personality. Now, personality marks have a 1 in 100 chance of appearing. And then at the very bottom, there's the uncommon mark, which is actually the most common mark. It's a 1 in 50 chance. And then we have the fishing mark, which you can't get on any of these birds, but uh, that mark is called the catch of the day, and you can get that while you're fishing. And then there's the curry mark, which you could only get through curring, which I showed you that my Shinotic has when you do camp. So with that being said, the easiest way to check is you catch a Pokemon, you go into check summary, 
you go over to the ribbon tab and then you check to see if it has a mark and of course if it does have a mark when you catch it like our venipede did over here uh, our venipede did have the social mark mojita the sociable uncommon mark and then you could see that we added two ribbons to it so we can add ribbons to the marks and that makes them pretty unique this is by the way my only shiny with a mark and you can see the video for that in the upper left hand corner of how i got this shiny venipede so that's a quick overview of marks and how they can make your three legendary galar birds unique instead of just catching them hopefully at this point maybe you, you didn't catch them yet but because you can't shiny hunt them and you probably want them to feel special in some sort of way this is a good way to make them feel unique and rare and something of value in the future because at the end of the day whether you're shiny hunting or mark hunting or trying to get pokemon in specific pokeballs it's pretty much uh bragging rights or just pure collection rights at this point so if you can make the pokemon unique or something of yourself the marks are a good way to do that now i will also say i completely forgot but if you do complete the pokedex on the isle of armor you get what is called the mark charm think of it like the shiny charm the shiny charm adds plus two to your roll so instead of a one in four thousand chance of finding a shiny in the overworld it is a three in four thousand chance which the math on that is one in 1365 mark charm does the same thing it adds plus two so the rare mark i talked about earlier which is a one in a thousand chance becomes a three in a thousand chance and the personality marks become a three in a hundred chance to get this and uh, getting these three legendary birds took me maybe about two or three hours, but I will say I got pretty lucky uh, in my resets. So now that we know what marks are, let me show you how to get the marks on these Pokemon. Now we're gonna talk about actually encountering these Pokemon. After this explanation, I will show you the locations you can go for each of these Pokemon, but specifically, we're gonna talk about how to check as fast as possible if they have marks so you save as much time as possible we're going to start with moltres first you're going to fly to the dojo and then it is important to know that uh every time you fly whether it's for moltres zapdos or articuno to a different location the stats of the pokemon will change the nature will change the ivs will change and the mark itself will change so if you save in front of any of these pokemon and you reset your game to reset the encounter it will have the same stuff unless you fly um, to a different location. That could even be the same location. So for this example, for Moltres, which I hunted first, which again, those, those hunts will be after this part of the video. You will fly to the dojo. You will stand in the designated spot. Moltres will approach you right before the encounter. You save, and then you let Moltres approach you. Now, to make this as quick as possible, you're going to throw your Master Ball. You're not going to use your Master Ball. You're just going to do it to check the mark. Once you catch it with your Master Ball, first off, don't save. But secondly, once you catch it with your Master Ball, go over to the Ribbon tab and see if it has the mark. If it does not have the mark, this is very easy. You just reset before the encounter, close your game, reopen your game. You'll be right before Maltrace again. Now remember, because you didn't fly, the Maltrace will be exactly the same. It will have the same nature. It will have the same mark. It will have the same stats. Just refly back to the dojo and then the whole encounter will start again. You'll have to wait about a minute for Moltres to fly across the water to get back in front of you. Right before it gets back in front of you, you save, you let it encounter you, you throw the Master Ball, check for the mark. If it does not have the mark, then you turn off the game, turn it back on, and then fly again to reset. So pretty easy, right? If it does have the mark you want, for example, maybe on your first try, you saved in front of it, you throw the Master Ball, it has maybe the cloudy mark perfect moltres the cloudy i can't remember what the cloudy mark is then you reset you close your game you reopen it you're in front of moltres again you don't fly this time you let the moltres encounter you it will have the same nature the same stats that same mark and then instead of using your master ball you will use whatever ball you would want to use whether that's premier luxury pokeball ultra ball dream ball etc then once you catch it verify the mark, save the game, that Pokemon is done. Zapdos is a little more complicated. Uh, you don't have to wait for it, but instead you have to chase it. So I will show you the, you'll see the location. You approach Zapdos, you ride your bike. Right when you get close, you save, encounter the Zapdos, throw the Master Ball, check for the mark. If it has it, reset, ram your bike into it again, use the ball you want, 
save, good to go. If it does not have the mark, reset, load back up your save. Instead of running into it again, fly, and then you have to do the race all over again. And that's pretty much it. You're using your Master Ball only to check to see if it has the mark. Uh, just make sure you get the saving order correct so you don't lose a Master Ball in the process. But I think I explained it pretty well. So now I will show you the three I caught, how I caught it, and some dumb things I did along the way. If this video was helpful to you in any way about learning about marks or mark hunting, a like would be appreciated. Leave a comment below of your favorite mark or which ones you were going for on your Zapdos, Moltres, or Articuno, and you can see the rest of the video. For Moltres, you can fly right here, wait right here, because uh, Moltres will cross this area. He'll come around. He'll do this like swoop and then he'll go this way so you want to wait right here where my mouse is i don't know when atrocious edits it he'll put like a circle here and then for zapdos you come out here you look for him if not you fly back to here come out here look for him if not fly back to here um and then he you chase him around the you chase him around this way you have to chase zapdos you don't have to chase you don't have to chase Moltres, you but you have to chase zapdos so for articuno we flew to snow side slope and we slowly moved up the mountain. If it doesn't appear, just like go up halfway the mountain and then fly back and then uh, wait for it to appear. If it does, again, if it doesn't appear, just fly back, keep flying back to snow, snow side slope. And then you end up right here where we are right now. It looks like it's going to stop at this location over here, but it doesn't, it comes all the way over here. And then you can look for the tail animation uh, cause it's different. And then if that doesn't work or you need to reset, you fly back to the snow snow side snow slide slope where the watt trader is to do it again oh i didn't i didn't know that i didn't know that moved in damage i thought it just cleared stats <laughs> my bad here it comes here it comes okay my bike there it is i see it all right, all right, all right, all right. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, here, here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. I forgot how to whistle. I'm whistling. I'm whistling. The Baneri is excited. Okay, who am I encountering? Oh, it wasn't the Baneri. I wasn't sure. Abby, thanks for the six months. Are we shiny hunting Moltres? No, we're Mark hunting Moltres. Are you Mark hunting? No, I'm shiny hunting. Is it Moltres that's shiny locked? I'm not shiny locking, I'm Mark hunting. What are you, Mar I'm not Mark hunting, I'm shiny hunting. Are you Ivy hunting? No, I'm Eevee hunting. Jeez, chat. Do you even know how Dream Ball works, chat? <laughs> are you Eevee hunting? <laughs> no, I'm Moltres hunting, chat. See summary. Pompous. In a Dream Ball. <laughs> yeah, we're getting Eevees. I'm trying to get a Sylvie out right now. Gosh, I kind of love this. Oh, I'm close. I'm close. I'm close. Give me the boost. <gasps> no. Oh, I didn't mean to run into it. Oh, I didn't. I didn't. I forgot. I was. I was. I literally at that point hit the X button to save it. But uh, I. I zoomed. I zoomed too. I zoomed too much. I boost. I boosted too much. No master ball. Okay, I'll just. I'll. I'll just try to. I'll just dream ball it here. It's fine. We'll just dream ball here. Oh, it's raining. Or it's snowing. Or it's hailing. Oh, my Torkoal is fainted. I forgot to heal the Torkoal. I literally brought the Torkoal for the situation. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot to revive him. Has all this been confirmed? I've already tried it and tested it. We've. This is our second Pokemon, so it worked the first time. Okay, I, do I use Fastball? Because then I can't catch the other ones in a Dream Ball. Fastball is kind of perfect here because it is furious. Fast and furious. All right, I'll try Fastball. Okay, remember that when we switch the sword, I have to catch that one in a Dream Ball. Okay, so when we switch the sword, I have to catch, I have to mark hunt that one, but I have to catch it in a Dream Ball. So remember that, chat. No way I'm remembering that. I'm not going to remember that. Okay, so there it is. There it is. See, see how it's furious? So we kept it. Okay, I want to I want to test this though. Did you nickname it yet? No, we're testing that right now. The Fast and the Furious. No way, that's so cool. 10 out of 10. Oh man. <laughs> this name is just The Fast and Gosh, H out of H. I I like I love it so much. But I just, I just hate that this, its name is the Fast Ant. <laughs> it's just like, it's such a silly name. Like when you send it out, it's like cool. Oh, 
is literally right. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Not that. <laughs> oh, not spam. Not spam my bell. Oh, I felt like it was going to stop and then it didn't. Go around. <laughs> ah, the bell does nothing. What? What? What is this? What am I supposed to do? What the heck? No, get out of here, Shenotic. No one likes you. Choose the correct one. Oh my gosh, chat. Genetic, don't you dare touch me. It's the, it's the one in the back. It's this one right here. Genetic, stop. I already have a million of you. That, oh, that's my Genetic. <laughs> oh, I thought it was the... I thought it was a random one. Oh, hi, Shenotic. <laughs> oh, this is the one I like. This one's mine. <laughs> oh, sorry, dude. I just kind of forgot I caught you at one point. <laughs> now I feel bad for him. Oh, gosh, poor thing. <laughs> ooh, ooh, oh, we got a mark, chat. We got a mark. <laughs> oh, gosh, I think that's arrogant, too. I'm almost positive that's arrogant. Oh, it's Stern! Stern! Uh, okay, we gotta, we gotta catch her for real, though. I'm not gonna name my Articuno Howard. <laughs> yeah, the mark will be guaranteed. The mark is guaranteed until we fly. I mean, Recluse is the rarest mark, for sure. Oh, I, I can't mess this up. Hold on. Gets that one. I'm too close. Try it again. Oh. Alright, here we go again. Okay, it's that one. Welcome back. That's this one right here. Would you let me touch you? Okay, thank you. I can't really tell the difference. The tail's moving in the opposite direction. It's easier just to look for the two tails that match and then see the third one out. Uh, I think it's 25% chance with, nope. Well, 0% chance in that instance. Okay, we gotta get our dream ball back. Okay, we, we can only throw two dream balls per reset, so. You can reset again? Yeah, I can reset again. Dream ball, best pokeball. Easy. Yamper picked up our other dream ball. We got it in this dream ball, so we didn't waste any dream balls that time. I can't believe how well those marks worked out. Yeah, my mark luck was incredible. So now if you mark the marks, you can see in the lower right hand corner all the marks here. You can also see the ribbons that we have on this these Pokemon. So like Mawile has this is the Alola ribbon, I think. This Shenotic, my dear Shenotic has the curry. This Torkoal has nothing. This dragon, this dragon, the Salamance has the uh, battle tower from uh, Sun and Moon. This Yamper is a world class master rank champion. And this... Uh, Chandelier I'm best friends with. That's the best friends ribbon. But we mark hunted. Uh, we marked. We hunted. We mark hunted. Moltres, Zapdos, and Articuno. Two of them are in Dream Balls. I gotta go find another Zapdos in a Dream Ball eventually so we can complete the set. But we have um, the Pompous mark here. The uh, Furious mark here. And the Stern mark here. And these are all personality marks. Um, and the personality marks are a 1 in 100 chance, or with the mark charm, a 3 in 100 chance. And so we have Moltres, the Pompous. We have, uh, well, we named Zapdos the Fast, so it says the Fast, the Furious. I don't know if we'll stick with that name, but it's funny for now. And then we have Articuno, the Stern. And those are our three Pokemon that we have mark hunted.